our first presenter is Yair Landau. He uh, was vice chair of Sony Pictures. Uh, he oversaw animation, among other things. And, but he had vision. He had the, uh, the ability to kind of look out over this landscape and say, oh, wow, there's a new way of doing this. And so what we're going to see today is something created by his company, Mass Animation. It's a crowdsourced animation that might not mean a lot to everybody right away, but it will by the end of this presentation. So with that, I'd like to welcome Yair Landau to the stage. So I, I left Sony a little over a year ago, and I was definitely uh, out to sea, and I'm still out to sea to a large extent. Part of why I left Sony is I thought uh, the world was moving a lot faster outside Sony than inside Sony. And I was involved in online games, animation, and visual effects. I was looking at where we had uh, tried to head at, at Imageworks in looking at outsourcing and shipping things to India, and I was looking at where the world was going from a online game standpoint and where gamers were taking the world in driving technology by themselves through mods and started thinking about the notion of essentially wiki movie making. Basically, is there enough technology out there distributed around the world? Is there enough talent out there that you could actually uh, build a community and make an animated film and essentially outsource all the work to the web and have people come from wherever they are and work together to make a CG uh, feature. I approached a friend at Facebook with, with this idea, and we basically pitched this notion to Intel as a marketing concept. And the, the fundamental notion was really simple. We're going to create an animated short as a beta test of um, through a community collaboration on Facebook. What we did was we provided them with tools, designs, storyboards, audio, uh, fully rigged models, and a full featured version of Autodesk Maya software, uh, which we put up on the app. And then they were able to download all of that, animate their shots, upload their animation, and that was open to community voting. Uh, every week, the most popular shot won a new Dell computer. And we had a group of animators, mostly friends of mine who I'd worked with on Surf's Up and on Monster House and other projects, basically provide the animators with guidance on a weekly basis. Everything happened transparently through the discussion boards on Facebook. We basically told a story together. The story we chose was a musically based story. Uh, the theory behind the character set here and, um, and the whole approach was that if you put something up online, people will come from all over the world. And in order to make it as clear as possible and as universal as possible, wanted to tell a story that was musically driven. Also, since this was a first shot attempt and we didn't know what people's technological limitations were, we said, let's base this um, and make it and deal with that limitation in the same way that Pixar dealt with their early limitations. Basically, we said, let's use inanimate objects, let's use hard surfaces, let's make the animation as straightforward as possible. So our leads were an electric guitar and a violin. And I was fortunate enough to convince um, a phenomenal guitarist named Steve Vai, um, who played with, who started playing with Zappa and Whitesnake and Van Halen and is just a genius and literally makes the guitar talk. Uh, pitched him the story, fell in love with it, and said, sure, I'll record. And what Steve did is he basically uploaded tracks while he was touring around the world. Literally, he would, um, most of the music he FTP'd to us from his hotel room in Moscow. He would just jack in his, his guitar and, and upload it. And he introduced us to a violinist named Anne-Marie Calhoun, who plays both classical and rock. And we had those tracks up and people animated to those tracks. All the animators who won, and basically nearly half of the people who submitted shots ended up with shots in the film. They received cash. We worked with them to refine their work so that we would have a consistent final work, and they were given credit in the film. The whole thing took place, and this is kind of a brief overview of the Facebook app. We provided the story reel, um, and then every week we assembled the submitted shots into sequences so people could see the work progressing and could see their work in the story context. Um, in, the, in the middle section there, you'll see basically our shots page. And uh, on the top there, you see basically we have, it, we have the sequence and the shots broken out into the sequence. On the right, you see the leaderboard. Uh, th those are the submissions. Every single shot submitted 
was posted. In this case, this was the opening shot, and we had 19 people submit versions of the opening shot. Uh, we basically then had to get online and say, hey, people, there's 107 shots in the film. Your chance of winning are much higher if you animate shot 47 than if you animate shot one. And that's basically how we manage the production process because uh, uh, you'll see on the right, basically, those are the upload and download pages. You were able to choose whichever shot you wanted. We had a, a whole range of activity. We had animators who had literally never animated before who downloaded Maya and learned it um, as part of the process, and we had um, semi, we had professional animators from other parts of the world who submitted 20 shots, and one of our animators actually ended up with 10 shots in the film. The, um, the whole process ran, we formed the partnership with uh, Intel and Dell and Autodesk in August of 08. We launched in the middle of November uh, with the basic idea that people would have the spare time over the holidays and want to get away from their families. So we gave them an excuse, something to do during Thanksgiving and Christmas. And in fact, our, our heaviest days were, in, in terms of upload activity, were, were the Sunday of Thanksgiving and, and the Sunday after Christmas. Um, we ran the, co the contest ran from the middle of uh, November to the end of January. At the end of January, we picked the finalists and then I worked with them for a month to refine their shots. And then we colored, lit, edited, did our final scoring, and we were done in the middle of May. And um, the movie's coming out in two weeks. Um, the film you'll see here today will be out um, with the digital prints of a film called Planet 51 that Sony is releasing. And um, it will be available in theaters, and it will also be available for uh, digital download simultaneous with it being in theaters. It'll be available on iTunes. You can see we have we have a trailer. We have a trailer for a six-minute movie, so we basically have a 30-second spot on, on iTunes that you can, you can see the work. And uh, it'll be available for download on iTunes, and it'll be available for download to all cell phones um, on Mixer.com, and you can actually download tracks and ringtones and images there uh, right now if you go there. Um, we, the theory was that this was going to be a global collaboration, and in fact it was. And uh, one of the things that was most exciting was that uh, we had people from all over the world uh, vote, upload, participate. We had very large communities in the UK, in Brazil, in Mexico. And um, there's the, the, the idea here was that you don't have to live in, in Glendale or Emeryville in order to be a successful CGI animator. And uh, in fact, we, we had an artist in Uzbekistan, we had an artist in St. Petersburg, and uh, a, a bunch of artists, and, and a 48-year-old woman from Bogota who has a, a shot in the film. So uh, the, the, the big takeaway is that uh, there is a huge amount of talent out there, and if you provide the tools and you provide a story that attracts people, then you can actually create on a distributed basis. <laughs> The Mass Animation Community presents a bold new step in storytelling. This year, animators from around the world work together on Facebook to make music come alive. This Thanksgiving, experience a love story like you've never heard. Featuring guitarist Steve Vai and acclaimed violinist Anne-Marie Calhoun. Live music, an innovative new short film on tour this fall with Planet 51. Um, so I'm glad to take any questions, you know, comments. Um, the, the, uh, the artistic path provided the animators were the storyboards, which were fairly rough, and then the 3D assets. And they submitted various passes, and then what we did is we worked to refine and, and build continuity. Several of the shots you saw actually um, were different from the storyboards, and um, we basically changed around the series of shots, building around the contribution of an individual animator. Well, thank you. That was, ver that was directing. Right? I mean, I worked with these people online, basically. We, we made a very conscious choice about which parts of the pipeline we opened up. 
Um, and so basically, if you look at a CGI pipeline from, you know, storyboard design, you know, modeling, rigging, um, we basically managed that piece of the process. And then what we opened up was uh, basically uh, layout, animation, and camera. And so we, we basically provide the animators with the, 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 the assets in the environment, had them block the scene and, and have the, had them basically set the camera and then worked with them to integrate it and then we managed uh, color and lighting. And the reason we did that was twofold. One is because we felt the performance was the more interesting thing for people to see and vote on and was easier for people to externally process. Uh, and the other was we felt that if we maintained lighting and we maintained design, we would be able to have uh, a sense of consistency. We broke it out into easy, medium, and hard shots and to, to provide people with, with some level of guidance and basically gave people four weeks to do the easy shots, uh, eight weeks to do the medium shots, and 12 weeks to do the hard shots. But every single shot was available for download when we went live, and uh, all, all of the animation basically came in when, when people uploaded it. I think we have time for one more question. Ma'am? Um, our, we, we put out a press release at SIGGRAPH and we got the first uh, couple thousand people literally just based on that and then we sent flyers to a bunch of animation schools and then Intel bought ads on Facebook. And so the, the, the overall community was about 57,000 people. Um, the working community was 125 people.